Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are researching the commercial satellite because we're going to need a cash injection. That's for sure. Uh, let's just see. A space station. No one has that yet. That is going to be our next goal. So we landed on the moon. That was all good. Uh, well, we we didn't land on the moon yet. We're planning to land on the moon. Uh, we have some missions. We, we so we have Mercury orbit orbit going on, and uh, it's ready to launch. Then we have the crewed moon landing being planned. Uh, the capsule, uh, the Apollo capsule, is being complete uh, completed in two months, and we have a mission slot available. So what do we want to do for that mission slot? Four million in funds and a lot of science. Hmm. I'm going to do the money mission. Money is our focus. So we're going to do a money mission here. And. I think we'll just do the standard payload. Okay. And then we need to launch our moon lander. Let's do this. Let's go to the moon. Launch day heat sink. No, this is the Mars orbiter. Mercury Orbiter. Man, I'm mixing everything up. Mercury Orbiter. Good conditions, 4% risk of critical failure, 11 of a negative effect. Let's go. We're going to skip the countdown and let's see. Blast off. Looking good so far. Looking good so far. Still looking good. Go, 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 rocket, go, yes. All right, we made it. And it was a secure launch, excellent. Our Delta K got a little bit more reliable. A Mercury Orbiter. All right, let's see. Entering Mercury Transfer Orbit. We need five and seven. So we need 10 and 14. That's, which means that we need to do four burns. We need to do four burns, which means that we need eight data and four comms to do that. Okay. Now... We're going to have to spend two power here. Because this doesn't get us anywhere. It doesn't really help us that much. It does give us that. Hmm. Hmm. Let's spend the two power. Then we'll spend... One of those... On that. And again, and again, I think. That gives us what we need... For our burns, actually. So let's do that. Of course, immediate fail. And another fail. Damn it. Uh, we'll resist it. And a critical success. Nice. All right. 
So that was the first turn, and we now have everything that we need to burn. And the burn is going to give us... No, we need to burn four times, so we don't have everything we need to burn. But... The burn is going to give us four of the nav modules as well. So if we do this, that takes away all our comms, but gives us some nav. Then we just need some more comms. We need four of them. So we can use three of our nav to get that. And then we can do this. That gives us five. And then we can do this once more. Yeah, confirm. Of course, resist it. Nice, critical success and extra comms. We can use that. And that went well too. And another critical success which gives us an extra nav. That is quite nice actually. Because now, we won't be able to complete it this turn. So basically, we just need that. And then we can recharge power. Three times. Okay, luckily we just recharged a lot of power. And then we can hit this four times. Which will take us up to 16 and 11 and give us our bonus reward. Nice! 50% bonus reward achieved! Very nice. Alright, we are on our way to Mercury. And that gives us 303 science for 5 months and some support. Okay. And we are first to head to Mercury, so that'll be a... Uh... We have a challenge. Complete commercial satellite before China. Ward, minus 50% vehicles research cost for three months. That would actually be kind of nice. Um, all right, so we have our three active missions. Uh, next month, commercial satellite, research complete, when is China? China don't have the research yet either. So let's research the payload. We have a funding review in a month. We won't get up to the next level, but we will complete Apollo next month. All right. We still, we're still making pretty darn good money, so I'm okay with not hitting the next funding step. All right, contractor effects decreased by 50%. We don't really use contractors that often anyway. Uh, can we reuse a sign here? No. All right, design a new vehicle for our landing. It'll be the Saturn II, because that's the only one can do it. And then it'll be the Saturn V booster. That'll cost us two million. And take us 13 months to complete. Uh, let's take a look at this. That'll increase the time to 15 months. 
That'll give us more support at the cost of payload reliability. I we're gonna do it ourselves. Build that vehicle. Okay. So we have what's this new mission here? Uh, it's just these two. And then here Long duration flight. Uh, vehicle upgrade launch reliability penalty due to negative launch conditions is halved. That's actually quite nice. And here we have those. All right. Well, and does anyone have? No, we're the only one planning the crewed moon landing, and they, we're the only ones who have even researched it. Next month. All right, atmospheric sampling payload is complete for our Venus. And the build times have been modified. Let's see, we can use the light inner planets vehicle. 80% launch reliability, 70% payload reliability. We'll load that and we'll rename it to uh, uh, Venus. Uh, Money maker. Venus money maker. Confirm. We can't afford it though. We're gonna have to wait a, wait a bit. Next month. Comsat research complete. Okay. What's next? I mean, the visitor center would be nice, plus 10% total rewards from successful request missions. Um, there's also... I know there's a space shuttle that we can get. It's... That's the Hermes. Where's the space shuttle? Isn't there a space shuttle that we can get? Uh, well, that's pretty cool. No vehicle designs require research, so we can see if anything needs research up here. I thought there was a shuttle. Is it Hermes? No. Yeah, space shuttle, Hermes. Okay. So let's do those so that we can start moving down towards the Hermes. We have an active mission. Oh, that's because we can't afford to build it. Four times SRB complete. Next mission phase ready for the Merc Mercury orbit. Very nice. Uh, let's do research first. Hmm. We have four, well, three different boosters here and only two different upper stages. So this boot booster has a capacity of 30,000, 16,000, 24,000. This has a mass of 14,000. This has a mass of 24,000. So let's do the Delta IV. That's 1600 research, okay. Go to missions, Mercury. Continue that mission. All right, it's hot up here. We're gonna have to fight some heat. All right, five of each and we need to control heat. So it's 10 of each and we need to control heat. And we generate five heat per turn. So, yeah. All right. So we can do this. That reduces some heat. 
and gives us three data. Then we can do this to reduce some more heat and get us three data and three comms. And then we can do this to give us four data, five comms. And then we can actually do this again. That gets us to three, two, and eight. That's pretty decent in my book, and it gets our heat way down. I think that's a good start. All right. Okay, good so far. Ooh, and very good. All right. Very nice. And we'll get five heat. So... Let's do this and this and then this twice, I think. Or do that so we get down to a little bit less heat. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. Nice, an extra data. All right. So we just need three comms and nine data, or, or one data, three comms and one data. So what we can do is this and this, and that actually gets us there. That actually gets us there. And then we could in reality do this and this, and it still gets us there. We have the power to do it, and it takes our heat even further down. Though it won't really matter, I think, because we will win now. There we go! Woo! First Mercury orbit. An extra 138 support. Not that much. But a total of almost a thousand support and 321 science for 10 months. Not bad. Not bad. But we can't really do our uh, next. Uh, we can't really do another mission right now because we need money to build this one. And so let's just continue on until we have enough money to build the commercial satellite. Okay. Mars and beyond. Humans orbit the Earth. Ingenuity and bravery has overcome the challenges of early spaceflight. Minds are turning towards na notions long ago thought impossible. Could it even be possible to send humans to the red planet? It might. Ooh, the race to Mars begins. Landing humans on Mars is the ultimate milestone for our agency and achieving it first must be our primary long-term goal. Getting there will be our greatest technological channel challenge and we'll need to gain plenty of mission experience over the following decades before we're ready for it. But with your leadership, we can make humanity a multiplanetary species. The race to Mars screen is now unlocked. Very cool. Before we look at the race to Mars screen, uh, I want to make sure that I don't forget to build this vehicle. And I want to check commercial satellite. China has the research, but the mission isn't planned. Ours is planning. Right? No, it's not. Damn. We might have screwed that up. Well, I might have screwed that up. It's not your fault. Uh, Alright, let's take a look at the Race to Mars screen. So, we need readiness to go to Mars. We need 
we have the race to Mars here. So your agency's overall readiness for, for attempting the crewed Mars landing mission. The higher your, red, your Mars readiness, the better your chance of successfully completing the mission. Increase readiness by gaining experience and expertise and uh, preparation. So we have experience, we have expertise, and we have preparation. So experience, increasing Mars experience will reduce the task requirements in the crewed Mars landing mission. So, and then we have your agency's combined technological expertise, increasing Mars experience, expertise will improve payload reliability, crew capacity, and power for the crewed Mars landing mission earned by completing research. And this one is uh, the expertise is earned by completing missions. And then this one is earned by completing the four Mars preparations missions. Now, our current chance of success is abysmal. Uh, uh, so we can't even start the mission. So it's recommended that you reach a minimum of 60% Mars readiness and complete at least two Mars preparation missions before considering lo launching this mission. Okay, and then we of course need to research these things, the crewed Mars landing, the acts, the Mars requirement engine and habitat, and the Mars requirement send lander. So these are things that we need to do, but the race is on to go to Mars. All right, let's take a look here uh, we want the commercial satellite we want to plan mission how much does it cost 451,000 so we can't do that for another two months all right we need to set some research and since we're hopefully going to do this before china i'm going to start researching the space station i think or the Mars lander. You know what? Let's do the Mars lander. Uh, next month. And next month. China is launching commercial satellite in 15 months. But we can start building our payload now. It'll be box standard. That'll take five months. Mercury magnetosphere discovered. To the surprise of scientists, your Mariner 8 probe orbiting Mercury has discovered that the planet has a magnetic field. It was previously thought that the planet's core had cooled off long ago, meaning no such field would be generated. Researcher also, researcher, voila, researchers are already developing new models of the planet's interior. Gained 400 science. Nice. I'd rather have money. Uh, all right, the Venus moneymaker is complete, so we can go ahead and start preparing that. Plus 10% launch variability, mission training bonus reduced by 50% per month. Okay. Well, we're gonna do the payload reliability. The launch reliability is already high. Oh man. We might switch to launch reliability and go in March. Um, and go in March, so 76% launch reliability. Let's do it. Confirm. Go to the solar system. We already have Three missions going, and next month, and next month. Pet Project, a company specializing in life celebration services, has approached your agency requesting that your upcoming commercial satellite include a small additional payload comprising pet ashes. If accepted, the company will pay you 500 thousand however your advisors have warned 
there is a chance the public will react negative, negatively to the deal. I'm going to accept it because we desperately need the money. So accept that deal. We lost 200 support, but we gained 500,000, which means that we can start our build for the Comsat earlier, which is good. Next month. And there is our comsat. Uh, minus 50% bo booster build time, plus 50% bo booster build cost. Ooh, and we don't have that much money. And the crewed moon landing is ready to launch. Uh, well, it's ready to plan for the launch. Plus 5% launch reliability. We like that. We need some astronauts. We want a scientist, for sure. Then start each task with plus one comms. Start each task with extra power. I think we'll do that. And then I think we'll do the celebrity plus 10% support reward upon mission success. So 10% extra science, 10% extra uh, support and we can actually get one more person in here <clears throat> minus one random resource requirement per task you're going to carbone confirm we'll do science training and we'll select the launch date which will be April yep our launch date will, will be April. Confirm mission setup. Okay. So crude moon landing launches in two months. No one else even has the science for it. So we are definitely doing that first. We need to build a vehicle for this. 1.35 million. We can afford it. It only takes four, uh, four months. Wonderful. And the contractor, we don't want to extend the build time. So it's going to be ourselves. And upgrades, we have the composite casing. Minus 10% vehicle build cost. It doesn't cost anything, and it only costs one point. We have one point. So this is an upgrade that we can use to kind of adjust our... Um, so. 1.35 million and 1.181 million. That is wonderful. Confirm. Build that vehicle, baby. So, four months. That's ready. When is China launching? In nine months. So, we should be able to beat them, which will give us the 50% uh, vehicles research reward, which would be nice. Okay. Uh, so we launch atmospheric sampling, which is money, next month. Then we launch the crude moon landing in two months. And then we complete our uh, commsat, which is also money. So, all right. Atmospheric sampling. Lucrative. It's a lot suboptimal launch date, but we still have 76% launch reliability. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Feeling pretty good about it. And the weather looks to be decent at least. It's a is it a dawn or a dusk launch? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what the weather says. Good conditions, nice. Four percent and twelve percent. Let's go. Three, two, one. And we have ignition. Cleared the tower. Go, baby. You're at least four million. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Yeah. All right. And we have a secure launch. Wonderful. Delta K gets a little bit more reliable again. And 
Let's go. So we need two, two, and five, which means four, four, and ten, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have three actions per turn, so we can do three of these on the last turn and be fine. We just need to have six comms to do it. So we need to get to ten comms. And we actually just need to get to one uh, nab. So we're going to do this one because if we do the signal return test, the only other thing we can do is the controlled burn and I don't want to burn until the last turn. So we're going to do the infrared spectroscopy for the two data. And then we're going to spend that two data to get two and two. And then we're going to spend, oh, we don't have a data. And we're going to spend one of our nav to get two data and a comms. All right, let's do that. Oh, of course, we will resist it. All right. Okay. So now I think I'll spend one of these to get four data and then I'll spend four data to get six and six and four. All right. Oh, of course. We resist it. Ah, come on. Resist it. Except. All right, that kind of screwed us a bit because we need to recharge now. Now, we can actually actually it didn't screw it us all. We we can do that and we can do that. That gets us a 10 and 3, and we just need 6 of them for that, and that's all good. So, let's do it. Alright, and that allows us to resist twice on this one, and this is enough for our 50% bonus reward. So, 3 thrusts, and we're golden. If only two of them fail, at least. And maximum two of them will fail, so... Very nice. Ooh, and a, actually a critical success. So we are on our way to Venus with a 50% bonus reward. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. That's 2.25 million we get already. Which is nice, because we have an active mission slot. No, we don't. Okay, fine. Then, uh, I guess it's next month. And that'll be the crude moon landing. But I think we'll do that in the next episode, guys. Because that, of course, needs to be the beginning of the episode. And we need a cliffhanger, right? So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.